the Battle of Agincourt took place in the year 1415. It was one of many battles fought between England and France during the Hundred Years War. This particular encounter began when King Henry V sailed with 12,000 soldiers from England to Normandy. His forces besieged and captured the town of Harfleur, but victory had taken longer than expected and cost Henry many of his army. With supplies being short, Henry decided to march his army to the English-controlled region of Calais, where he planned to sail back to England. When the English reached the village of Agincourt, about 40 miles short of Calais, they found a huge French army blocking their way. The French army had around 30,000 soldiers. The French battle formation consisted of three lines. Each line was made up of around 9,000 heavily armoured men-at-arms and around 700 cavalry. The French also had archers, but they only played a limited role in this battle. The English army only had about 8,000 men, and the majority of them were archers. The English battle formation placed archers on both sides and men-at-arms made up the centre of the English army. The battle started when the English archers fired a huge volley of arrows at the French lines. The French responded with a cavalry charge aimed at stopping the archers, but the French cavalry were unaware that the English had protected their archers with sharpened wooden stakes. The French cavalry came under attack by the English archers and others crashed into the sharpened defensive wall. The French cavalry retreat collided with the advancing French infantry, killing some and disrupting the formation. The battlefield was already wet and muddy, and horses tearing up the ground made the situation even worse. Slowed down by heavy armour, the French were exhausted by the time they reached the English line. With arrows being fired from both sides, the French infantry moved towards the centre of the field, creating a crowded space with no room to manoeuvre. The advancement of additional French lines further added to the crushed conditions. It was so congested, the French were unable to raise their weapons, and the English were able to kill large numbers. The sheer weight of the line pushed the English back, but a counter-attack regained the English advantage. When the English archers ran out of arrows, they joined the attack with axes and swords, and being lightly armoured, it enabled them to move quickly, a big advantage over the crowded and heavily armoured French soldiers. After three hours of fighting, the French retreated, but with huge numbers lost. The English had also captured many prisoners that could have earned high ransoms, but when the English saw the French regrouping, they expected another attack and killed a majority of the prisoners. This act was unnecessary as the French did not attack again. At the end of the battle, the French had lost around 6,000 soldiers, including many members of nobility, whereas the English had only lost around 400 men. This was a victory for the English. Henry returned to England a hero and in 1420 was recognised as heir to the French throne.